God could have written himself. Very few people can say that they get to marry their high school sweetheart, and even fewer can say that they met their person in kindergarten. Today I'm overwhelmed with emotion as all of our memories throughout the years are flooding through my mind. From high school dances, many college visits, and countless hours on FaceTime, it feels so surreal that the day we have been waiting for is finally here. Overall, the past five and a half years with you have been nothing short of amazing, and I cannot wait to see all of what God has in store for us in the years to come. You've seen me at my highest highs and my lowest lows, and have been such a constant in my life. You know me better than I know myself, and my love and feelings for you are so strong I simply cannot put them into words. I went through my old journal that I wrote in every day when we first started doing long distance. Oh, no. On January 13th, 2019, I wrote, I know it's cheesy, but I honestly feel like I could spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much, and you make my day every day. This would have been about a week after you moved across the country in a little over a year of dating. Truth is, I knew early on you were my one. And while the distance wasn't necessarily easy, I always had peace that it was temporary. I wholeheartedly believe that the peace that I felt during our season of long distance was God telling me that you are my husband. You are the man that I've prayed for my whole life. You're my best friend, the kind of man that I've always dreamed of hopefully raising kids with. You made me a better person and I simply could not imagine life without you. My life is so much better because of you and I thank God every day for placing you in my life. After all that we have been through specifically in the last two and a half years, 
I can confidently say that my decision to marry you today will easily be the best decision I'll ever make in my life. You've been there for me when no one else was. He prayed over me, cried with me, encouraged me and stood up for me. You've shown me that no matter what unimaginable scenario life throws at us, we'll be okay so face it together. I vow to always be there for you when you need me, to support you no matter what, and to push you out of your comfort zone. I vow to be your sunshine on a rainy day, and to always keep life fun and interesting. I'll always strive to be the best version of myself, as well as help you be the best version of yourself, and to create a life together that is filled with happiness, joy, and love. I promise to love you, respect you, and trust you throughout any and all circumstances life may throw at us, whether they be good or bad. And most importantly, I vow to always keep God at the center and forefront because he is our firm foundation. With him, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 6 says that in a marriage to become one, therefore what God has joined together, no man shall separate. With this being said, I'll only have eyes for you. I promise to always pursue you, submit to you, and be your partner in crime, even on game nights. <laughs> I love you so much, Mitch. You're my greatest blessing. I'm so ready to finally be your wife. I'll choose you today and every day until the Aww. day I die. I love you. <laughs> so there we go. Cindy Claire Dennis. <laughs> what has brought us here today is nothing short of God's will for our lives. I would have never dreamt that I would first meet my wife in a kindergarten class 18 years ago. <laughs> but here we stand today as a testament that what God joins together, no man can separate. Through the past five and a half years of dating, I've admired watching how you live with such strength and grace on your life. You are the kindest and most loving person I've ever met. I have fallen more in love with you every day since the first day I said I love you. You are the greatest gift I've ever received, and I thank God for you each and every day. I pray that as we grow old together, our relationship will be viewed from our children and grandchildren as one of faithfulness and honoring to God. Over the midst of the past year, We've experienced some of life's highest highs and lowest lows. But through it all, your love has never wavered and there is no other person I would rather have by my side to celebrate the victories and help carry me through the storm. You have made me strong when I feel weak. You have stood by me when I was alone. You have kept the faith and it has been such a blessing to watch how you have continued to lead your life amidst life's battles. I now vow to devote the rest of my life to making you feel loved, cherished, cared for, and safe. I want nothing more than to see you continue walking according to the ways that God has destined before you. I can promise to you today that I will commit to serving you and loving you as Christ loves the church. I vow to stand as the head of our family and to set the example for our future sons and daughters of what it means to love your wife unconditionally. I want you to know that I don't only choose you on the easy, carefree, good hair, drama-free days, but I choose you on the hard, dark, lonely days. I promise to lay down my interests for yours and to walk with you to grow closer to Jesus and live according to his plans that he has for our lives. I don't view today as the finish line, but rather as the starting line to our relationship and our love blossoming and continuing to grow each day and week. My prayer is for our love to be deeper every day and year we spend together until death do us part. I love you, Sydney Claire Dennis, and I am ready to spend the rest of my life loving you how you deserve to be loved.